This segment is about migrating slides from other presentations and the proper way in which to save your document when you are done with it. So if you just open up an existing presentation that you have, you can select all of the slides or just some of the slides that you may need. From there, you can copy, place your cursor here and paste in. You do have two options, however. The option is you can right click and you can paste using destination theme or you can paste with using the keep source formatting. We will go over both options. So if we want to apply the formatting of the ICANN template, then what we would do is place it as was previously shown. I will do it again. So we will paste as use destination theme. Now that alone will not solve your problem. From there, what you will need to do is right click, choose layout, and then you will choose the layout that is most similar to what you are trying to achieve. In this case, this is a cover page layout, so you would choose one of the few cover page options. So in this case, we'll just choose cover page de um, decorative. And then I always do reset slide a second time. So you'll see that what it does is we have our title here. What is considered a subtitle will go here. Um, if there isn't a same title subtitle setup, um, then the text will go in a random position because it is unclear where it should go. So in that case, you would simply delete. Then you would type whatever other information you need. If you do not need information, you can simply use your spacebar, and then it will not show up. And then here, for example, um, this slide, this slide, and this slide all are what would be, as well as this, are all what would be considered bullet slides. So we can right click, choose layout, and choose bullets. Now when we do that, we'll see that this goes as a bullet, this is a bullet, this is a bullet, but not necessarily exactly how we would like it. And then we have this as a bullet. So then these four, you would right click and choose reset slide. Then we would come over here and just set everything up the way that you feel would be most appropriate. For example, here we might want these to each be half. Then we have the opportunity to come up here and we can change the layouts in a way that we may prefer. So even though it's coming in from another source, we can still make any changes that we feel would be appropriate. And so then we are done with that slide. This slide would be similar. We would want to bring this over. And then for this, this is an actual table. So what we may choose to do with the table is make sure that it is properly sized to our, our liking. We may even want to do something like this and give it a little more room since the table is a bit larger. You may find that there is some additional information that just doesn't fit on the slide or that it is just extra text. And for that, you can just move it wherever you need to temporarily, kind of scoot things up and then place it where you feel it would be appropriate for your needs. Now that we have done that, then we can select the table and we can assign whatever options we may want but then we will just need to go in and we will need to apply the aerial or the body formatting. But we can still go in and change colors or anything else that we may need to change to make it appropriate for our needs. This, for example, would be a sample of this. So when it has come in, it is not the layout that we would want, but we do have other options. So this is set up as a title only option. We can choose a few options here and I will go over them. We can choose the bank blank background slide. We can also right click, choose layout. We can choose these alternate backgrounds. So we have these alternate backgrounds that we can choose from as well. We can also select our images 
and move them wherever we feel would be most appropriate, we can modify them. So each one is still fully editable because it was editable in our original file. So we can remove information, we can add information, we can in some cases add other items, we can delete some items if we have more than we need, etc. Um, we can change the colors, etc. as we have gone through previously. We also have different looks, different colors, all sorts of different variables that are available for our use. And then this would be another example of bullet options. So we would again go to layout and then choose bullets. This one would be a little different because we would want to set it up where we have our two sets of bullets here. In that case, we would just select this, use our format painter and apply the formatting. And you'll see that the way that this had been set up, not working quite right. So we will have to do it again. But when we've done it the second time, it appears to perform properly. So then we would just look over here and it is a bit of a, an ordeal initially, but it, it always is when you're taking from a different template. The beautiful thing is when you go from the same templates, then you will have much better results. So for example, here, bit clunky right now, but if we come over here and we apply the formatting, you will see that now it works the way that it should. We have our level one, our level two, level one, level two, and there are no level threes. Actually defined is represented as a level three. So we will set that as a level three and we do not have a level four here. So this would also be considered a level three. Again, we can select this format, align, we can align these to the top and then move them to wherever is appropriate for our needs. So that is all that would be required. Again, it is a little labor intensive when you're going from one type of format to another. There are also situations where it may be easier to just grab a new slide. So for example, here we may want a bulleted slide. Here we have the two, it's a little cumbersome. I'll actually copy this back over again just to give you another sample. So here we can see that the items are kind of kind of out of sorts here and we want it to all be in one list of bullets, not two. So we just enter, copy this, paste, enter. Then what we do is we reset the slide. When we reset the slide, it will reformat it in the way that it should be. So here we have a level one or level two, level three. Maybe we want this to be a level one, this to be a level two, this to be a level three. Then we can reset the bullets and you'll see that everything is formatted as one would expect. Then you can come up here and you can auto fit if needed. So that is how you can transition. So there are multiple ways to do it. You can do it directly by layout and choosing the layout that is similar, or you can just insert a new slide that you want to place your contents into and then do it in that way. So they're both effective. It just depends on what you need. The other option is you may want to keep the formatting of the presentation that you were bringing into. So I will go over that once again. And we will copy this information. And we will paste using keep source formatting. The benefit of this is if you're doing a joint submission or you have something very complex and you don't want to bring it into the new style because it's meant to stay the way it is or for time constraints, bringing it in and applying the new formatting would create additional work that you don't have time to pursue. This would be an alternative. And what that does is it just allows you to keep all of the properties of that template. 
So essentially what you are doing is you are introducing a whole new template into your template file. Now, you can do this. Keep in mind, it will increase your file size. And if you are copying and pasting from multiple locations, you could end up having 10 um, presentation templates within your document, which will create several issues, including a very large file size. But as soon as you do a layout and you change out your cover, so here, look at the title slide. If we assign something else to that, now you will see Oh, we may have another one here somewhere. It should have removed that title slide. So if we come to view and slide master down to the bottom, now we will be able to delete that if we choose to. We cannot delete the ones that are assigned to other items. So one thing you can do is just go through and when you're done with your presentation, Delete anything except this one. So you can delete anything that is not currently linked. So that will clean up your file, but still allow you to keep items that need to have a specific layout. Um, that concludes your working with styles. And I'm sorry, um, with the migrating slides from other presentations. If you have additional questions, please reach out and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Thank you.